Hello, in this video, I want to quickly share with you guys what overclock settings I am using to mine flux on my RTX 2060, my RTX 2070, and 2070 Super GPUs. So without further ado, also, quick note, we are using the Mini Z Miner. Okay, for the 2060 Super GPUs, we are using a core offset of plus 150. For memory clock, you can either run zero or, like what I'm doing to save a little bit of power, is to run a negative memory offset here of minus 1,004. Uh, most important here, power limit, I found anywhere between 130 to 135 was a good sweet spot between uh, performance and hash rate to how much power you're drawing, so that's why I'm running a 130 power limit. Uh, very similarly to the 2060 Super, the RTX 2070, I'm running a plus uh, 165 core offset, zero for memory overclock because Flux is very different algorithm compared to like Ethereum or Ravencoin. It is nowhere near as memory dependent. So I'm running nothing for the memory clock there. So we're saving a bit of power, still getting a pretty good solutions per second of around 49 to 50. And then of course, power limit around that 130 mark. So of course here you can see the hash rate. Uh, then lastly, my favorite GPU and the most efficient of them all, the RTX 2060 or the 2070 Super here, uh, we're running again a core offset of 165 plus 1800 on the memory and a power limit of 140. I'll quickly hop over here to the shell just to show you the live hash rate. Uh, so as you guys can see, the RTX 2060 Super, we are getting around that 46 to 48 solutions per second mark and this will fluctuate with the uh, algorithm here. Uh, the RTX 2070, again, kind of between that 49 to 50 solutions per second. And then, of course, my favorite GPU, the RTX 2070 Super, getting around that 60 to 61 solutions per second at that 140 watt power limit. Again, this is all in software, but NVIDIA is pretty accurate when it comes to how much power you are drawing. All right, that's going to wrap up my video. If you guys have any questions regarding overclock settings for mining flux on the RTX 20 series of GPUs, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down below as I always respond to all my comments and I'd be happy to give you any feedback on your own overclock settings. If this video was helpful, consider leaving it a like and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.